What's good, it's Sheltron here. You can call me Shells, and I'm back at again with a brand new video, and I gotta keep it a bold berry biscuit. This is some huge news. As you guys may or may not know, Cam Newton is the topic of a lot of media attention from basically almost a whole year now. Going back a full season ago, we all knew about Cam's shoulder surgery, Cam's new throwing motion. All talk about will he be healthy for next season, will he not be healthy for next season. Well, we're having similar talks this year. Not only is the question about Cam's health, there are also questions swirling about whether or not Cam will be traded, whether or not Cam will be good even if he stays with the Panthers. There's a lot of talk, a lot of projection, a lot of prediction going on right now, and Cam has heard all of it. Now, if you don't know, Cam has been posting some pretty cryptic, some kind of maybe vague, maybe shady content on his Instagram from time to time. We'll get into all that. But the most important one so far is the post he put up maybe just an hour or two ago on his Instagram. Look at it right here, man. Alright, son, now that is a mouthful. The first thing's out this man's mouth. I am so comfortable with being uncomfortable. He's in the middle of a workout. He did not just start. You can see the man is already sweating. He's already straining. It's Cam Newton. You know he works hard. One thing you cannot say about Cam Newton, you can never accuse this man of not working hard. He'll give 10 more percent than 110%. That's 130%. That's how much more he gives than what you expect out of him. But, but, a little bit later in that video, you did hear him ask the question. It wasn't really a question, but more of a demand. He's basically saying, hold up, why can't, why can't I get any sort of assurances? Why can't, why, why can't you guys believe in me? Why won't you people, we can assume who he's talking to. Now, maybe maybe he's talking about something else. It's possible he's not talking directly to Terry Tepper, the new owner of the Panthers, who's been kind of wishy-washy about whether or not he's going to keep Cam. We've talked about, you know, having a workout for him in the next few weeks. It's at March, and it's the end of February right now. Ain't that many days in February. We've talked about a lot of different things about Cam. A lot of trade rumors going on. And like I've been mentioning for a while now, franchise quarterbacks do not play on the last year of their deal. They will become unrestricted free agents and literally every team in the league that needs a quarterback can bid on them. But like I mentioned, this video is not the only piece of evidence to show Cam's, I guess you can call it what? Dissatisfaction with the organization. He's been putting out some pretty subtle hints over the last week, but even longer than that, let's go over the past few days. Just five days ago, he posted a bunch of pictures of him working out with the caption, Sometimes you just have to play the role of the fool to fool the fool who thinks they fooling you. Who is the fool he talking about? You can tell me. And then just, I think it was three days ago. No, yeah, three days ago. More pictures of him working out. Same facility. I think it's his house, actually. But it says, they've been trying me, but I'm resilient for real. That was Drake. This right here is one of those situations. You know how girls be on, on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Or anyone. Anyone. But you put up lyrics. And people are like, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what what are these lyrics about? It's, it sounds like you're making a hint about something. Are you hinting at something? Like, no, nah, no, nah, it's just lyrics, bro, just lyrics. What do you know? You know for real, though. People be putting up lyrics, trying to say things, and then if you ask them about it, they can say, you know, hey, is this a song? I like, I like the song. Is this words? You know, just, uh, someone's saying the words. I like the words. They've been trying me, but I'm resilient for real. That don't sound like some kind of hint. That don't sound like some sort of, some sort of, reference the things going on in his life have they been trying cam does cam think he's resilient maybe it's all a coincidence but me i don't think so so if the team is really serious about keeping cam it's probably a really good idea to extend this man sooner rather than later because later may be too late now if i'm gonna be real with you i can understand both sides of the argument Obviously, like I just said, Cam's been very dedicated to the franchise. 
He's been working hard every single year, even when the team did not have very many weapons around him. The O-line was never all that great. And it wasn't until a couple years ago we actually had a weapons around Cam. He hasn't always had Christian McCaffrey and DJ Moore around him. You feel me? But on the other hand, the quarterback market is getting real expensive. Quarterbacks are going to be getting paid 38 40 million, probably closer to 41 million very, very soon with the cap always rising and with the CBA, the new CBA coming out, players will be getting paid a lot more very, very soon. So the question becomes, do you go ahead and right now sign a quarterback and extend him for what? Four, maybe five years, maybe four years, the fifth year option, maybe three years, the fourth year option for 38, 39 million dollars a year when you're not 100% sure if he's going to be healthy for the long term, he might be healthy this upcoming season. But you do have to call him the question just how healthy he'll be for the next four years straight. I'm not saying he won't be healthy, but I'm saying when you're making an investment, those are questions you have to answer. Because that's money. Hey, 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 money, you don't just throw out money. Now, for coaches and whatnot, there's no cap. But for players in the league, there is a, there, there's, there's a salary cap. And you got to play underneath that salary cap and then you have to consider we keep cam how much we're going to pay christian mccaffrey curtis samuels coming up in two years greg van roten we have a lot of guys on the team right now or taylor moten we have a lot of guys on the team that are coming up you're gonna have to pay or you're gonna have to let walk and you cannot offer cam newton a one-year deal or some kind of three or four year deal that's disrespectful money you do not if you believe in cam if you believe Cam is the quarterback that we all think he is, you do not offer him $28 million a year. You don't offer this man $31, $32 million a year when Patrick Mahomes is getting signed very, very soon. You pay franchise quarterbacks what the market's going to bear because if you don't pay them that money, there's another team with more cap room that will pay him that money. And also consider what does the team look like around him Kind of like with the Kimba situation, either let the man get paid or let the man win. And if we're talking about a rebuild situation right now, which is not just me saying rebuild, it's the coaching staff, the ownership, everyone's talking rebuild. If the man can't win right now, then at least let the man get paid. And I think that's what Cam's talking about. If you want me here during what we all consider is going to probably be some hard times coming up real soon, you got to pay me. So, David Tepper. What's the move? That's all I got for you right now, man. What are your thoughts on this? Thoughts on Cam? Uh, extensions? What should his contract look like? Do you think that what he's been posting on Instagram have been not so subtle hints toward the Panthers organization? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And you already know what to do with that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win. 